Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Into the Blooded Woods by Martha Brockenbride. So, just to let you know guys, spoilers ahead. <laughs> I had to finish the last um, half of the book in one night because I wanted to get it done, finish this book done this week. Because um, my book pile is kind of getting a little bit longer, a little bit taller now and I need to catch on with some books. So this is the second book that I had out of this year. I cannot believe that, but hey hey. So this book was the Unplugged book box from last year, and I love the cover. The cover is amazing. I want to know what the hell's going on with this claw mark, the crown, this woman, and I found so much about it. Wow, it's intense. This book is okay. So we open it up. This is the hardback. It has the title engraved to the book with some kind of um, turquoise colour or black. And then it has this um, gold spine. <clears throat> then we have our synopsis. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom and a forest that liked to eat men. And a girl who would change everything when not alone. Except there's no such thing as once upon a time. In a faraway land populated by werebeasts and surrounded by a powerful forest lies a kingdom about to be sent into chaos. On his deathbed, King Trian decides to divide his land, leaving half to his each of his two children. Um, which was... Oh my god, I can't remember the names. <laughs> um, I can't remember his full name, but I'll just call it Albert because his name is really weird to say. Oh, and Ursula. Ursula. Ursula was aware, so she was aware there. Um, <clears throat> and there's other people in this kingdom who transformed into different kind of animals. And she had a brother, Albert. I'm saying his name like that because I cannot pronounce his name. It's like Albrecht. <clears throat> and he hates wares. But his sister is okay. Um, throughout the story we find out, we hear about Greta and her brother. <clears throat> and um, her, her brother is a were, um, but their parents actually died, so this kind of gives me vibes of Hats and Greta a little bit, because um, cause they had to leave, um, their dad took them into the forest and leave them there, but they obviously dropped some um, breadcrumbs so they can find their way back home, find their back way home, and their parents are dead pretty much, so they've given them a feral which they burned in the forest the forest gave life <clears throat> and this woman who else that her brother was um Greta's brother was seeing she uh, her mother went to this place and um, went to their home and gave gold pieces to them to, uh, to hope they feel all right and safe with their new parents and this woman she is actually related to the queen um but the queen actually passes away from an illness Later in a few years, her fa the father, uh, the king also dies. Um, Hans, I remember the wolf's name is Hans. Um, so as we follow on, <coughs> we go through this. However, his son Abbot is not satisfied with half a kingdom. No, no, no. He wanted more. He wanted the whole kingdom for himself. He said that a were should not be ruling a kingdom. So he burned. Ursula's kingdom to the ground and she had to run into the forest. The forest saved them because the forest has life. Sabrine is another bear that Ursula falls in love with and them two are happily. Um, <clears throat> but they were fighting each other um, and Greta and Hans were also helping them out because um, them two used to live in the kingdom together until they ran away because of what was going on and because they got told they were stealing gold coins from the kingdom which they have never been to the kingdom it was a whole thing <clears throat> and even though his sister Ursula is the firstborn um, which is really weird that she was born a were and even though that the family hated wares they made it a were competitions which two wares will fight against each other <clears throat> and about he decided that, he, that as a girl and a werebear, she is unfit to rule. So he invades her land, slaughters her people and most of the werewolves and claims it for himself. 
so he likes mechanic stuff so he will make mechanical monkeys um literally anything a mechanical army he wanted to make himself a mechanical heart so that he doesn't have to have a beating heart a mechanical one that will always work and he will never die that's what he proposes he had um strength into him which was his uh, also his weakness was pain pain also was strength but weakness which is very weird so as we go through the story we find out that Abbott basically tries and gets rid of his sister. He does everything in his power to leave and get on with it. She's a princess and he's a prince. He then, when he became king of inside, he knew he was like, no, we have to get rid of these players. <clears throat> he hates them, but his partner, his friend, um, Jetta, she was actually aware, but he didn't hate her. Hans was aware, but he was getting used to Hans. It was so weird, but I'm like, why? Why did you go through all this trouble just to make these people hurt? As Albert builds his iron wall and army to defend his reign, Elsa scaring survivors and making plans to seize the kingdom back. Not just her half, the whole thing, because Albert should have never had allowed to sit on the throne. And Elsa is going to take his crown, and if he's not careful, he might get his head either. So. I'll carry more in a minute. So we have our little author letter. And then it is signed. So I got this little bit on here. It says, so this is the part where Greta and Hans get told that they were stealing from the kingdom, even though they've never been to the kingdom, and um, because some thief decides to steal their coins. So she put, said, enough, the princess said. Take the thief to the summer castle, remove his trousers, and let him walk home without them. He could think about what, what telling a lie and showing his ass have in common. And he got such language as well. So this is when they were all together, they were fine, because they were going to the forest, have some fun, be the brothers and sisters, until all of a sudden he turns out to be an ass. He Abbott was an ass. So when they went to the forest, um, some survivor just went to the kingdom and told them that they're still alive that his sister is still alive even though he shot her with an arrow but did not kill her <coughs> he he basically um went in there to like find them and others find them when he found out that they were still alive Greta Hans was still there helping them out Sabrina the one that Ursula loved there's other women it was like a big mix up and then the basically Albert decides to trail them off with food because the bears the children were actually getting very hungry so were they because they were running out of food so the great children followed these sweet buns and decided that they got basically kidnapped by Albert and so did Hans and Greta Hans <coughs> got strapped basically to a collar in his wolf form when he couldn't breathe and until he turned to a human he could breathe in it but the problem was that um, Abbott wanted to cut hands in inside him to see how he transforms into this were this wolf um, and then he kept Greta to become his wife but the wife thing didn't really happen as much and I'm afraid <laughs> Greta gets killed I could not believe that I was like oh my gosh and as we go through, Ursa and the king, her side of the survivors decide to come in and fight. She's this black bear, as you can see, the bear. She had the spider's thing and she got hurt as well, very hurt. And also believed that she, because the way, it, as I was reading it, it sounded like she died as well. And she died in vain to save her kingdom, basically. Um... Then we have Capella, by the way, as well, I forgot to say her. She is Han's lover, basically, because um, she's the one who was born by the forest. She wasn't born by the, a womb, a womb um, by having two lovers have make out and make a baby. Um, <coughs> so Capella was someone who was born from the ground and made into an actual human. So she, technically, she should have become um, queen, but she rather not, she would rather stay with Hans and look after their children 
after their family and everything and become a beautiful wife. Sabrine um, did her best to keep the girls safe and sound, did not what they, she could do and make them control more. Then you have Capella's mother who was um, the queen's sister and she just basically just let them down and she didn't want to become a crown. No one did the crown really. Um, but the weird thing is that with Capella she can make um, stuff out of the, out, out the um, woods. So she, this woods, um, her sloop broke so she had to make a new magical pipe basically. So she made one and the whole woods came alive and crushed the kingdom basically and helped them out. The music was overflowing but unfortunately we did lose people. And then Albert get pushes, the little kids actually push Albert out of the window and he falls to his death, is what we think. It seems that because his face is no longer beautiful and he does not have a voice or stuff like that, he <clears throat> basically seems to be alive still, but he's put himself into a mechanical thing to become a mechanical thing. So I think there's going to be a book two to this because that's the way it ended and I want to find more about it. But we did lose two people in this and I was very upset. But that is the end of this book. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time for the next book review, which I have not done, promise you. It'll be You Be the Death of Me by Karen M. McCross. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Bye.